Hi, it's Damati here from Redware, uh, introducing you to Scratch 2.0, which the guys at MIT have let us have a quick look at on a, a beta program for a few days, so you probably can't see it right now, but this is what it's going to look like. Um, you're looking at me through the video um, option, which um, they've put in, so you can do some sort of motion stuff with video, which is very exciting, and you can see stuff at the Scratch uh, website on that. I'm just giving you quick introduction just reassuring you that scratch is exactly the same as it's always been if you have a look here we've got the same old motion blocks um, you can move your thing 10 you've got the same control blocks you make a forever loop and um, get that thing moving uh, it's more or less exactly the same there's a couple of additions um, um, uh, for, but you know all the stuff that you can do um, in Scratch you can do now so if I uh, just do this I've got a mouse following sprite there in, in, in the traditional uh, Scratch way apparently there's some changes to the sounds um, you've got this uh, video option down here where you can do clever things with video that's really nice um, and they've got a couple of changes which I'll show you in a second you basically can clone sprites to make lots of sprites on the screen and um, you can have blocks which are sort of little like programming blocks so I'm just going to illustrate those new features but rest assured that all the old stuff is all still there so um, here is a project that I created before I've got my little green monster here and um, when I click you'll see he's just got classic uh, mouse following behavior just like we just saw um, and I've just put a little if in there uh, to stop it flickering around. So um, we've done that hundreds of times. Uh, that's your little uh, mouse follower. Let's look at the um, the beetle. So the beetle here, we're just uh, sort of moving it around. Uh, it's just moving around um, and bouncing off. And that's the beetle. So what I want to show you first is I want to show you um, how to create a little block now. So I'm going to create a block called Start and um, there it is and then I'm just gonna move this logic there and now when I start it I click that and when it calls start it's gonna call this whole block of program that's nice because I want to use it somewhere else in a second you'll see um, now what I haven't got I haven't got the logic for when when the when the green monster eats the beetle and here it is so when um, the beetle is touching the sprite it's going to uh, move move off so it, it looks like it's been eaten um, and uh, it's going to broadcast eaten uh, when it broadcasts my little um, uh, in my stage I've got a little thing it's going to create a clone of beetle which means it's going to make a second beetle sprite and it's going to broadcast start when it broadcasts start um, well in fact I don't need to do that uh, sorry <laughs> so let's um, just take that off it's going to clone the beetle and then um, you'll see on the beetle when the clone on clone startup which is a new block it's just going to randomly put the clone on and um, press start which is going to start it again so let's um, make that happen here we go so now uh, there's the beetle cloned clones you see they, they keep on cloning uh, so that's it so you've made yourself a little, little game there, which is great. So that's Scratch 2.0, can't wait.